Alright, hey everyone, and welcome to the 50 subscriber milestone. Holy crap, I... I didn't realize that I would get the... I would get here this fast, honestly. Um, I was expecting, uh, maybe to get to 30 by now, um, but we surpassed 30. Um, I set things for 25, and I said I was going to do things for 25 subs, and now we're at 50 subs, um, and I still haven't really done anything. So, I still plan to do a challenge video of some sorts. I don't know what that is going to be. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about me and um, kind of address the subject because you guys challenged me to get to 50 subs. Uh, unknowingly, like... In your mind, you said, "Wow, this this guy would be cool. Would be cooler if he had more subs, if he had more followers." And you actually helped me get there by hitting that sub button. And if you're brand new to this, um, thank you for even watching. Um, I honestly want to thank every single one of you that's out there who watches my videos, who comes to live streams, who hits that sub, who hits that like or share button. Thank you. And if you don't do any of that, thank you, because you're at least sitting here. You are at least listening to me ramble into a microphone that may or may not continue being my job or part-time job in the near future. With everything that's happened, and um, I'll quickly sum up what's happened. Um, my grandfather passed away, and I only have a couple months left before I have to move to... Or, uh, until I want to move to Norway because I've already ordered tickets to go there um, because it was going to be my summer trip. Um, but now it's going to be kind of the fact that I, when I go, I may end up staying. And I may end up having a job that requires two hours of, of travel every day. I may not be able to record gameplays anymore. Um, I'll try to do streams if I can. So those content, that content will still be uploaded. Um, but this may be the end of my channel for now. Um, it may go dark and you guys may never hear me again for a few years. Um, I do have a lot of videos planned and I want to crank out as much content as I can in these next few weeks, continue building uh, what I am so that um, maybe I can continue this. Um, maybe I can go and say, hmm, this is actually, I can do this um, at least as a part-time job. Because um, I assume that I'll be working the similar to nine to five um, every single day, but that's the point I guess I want to make across is thank you. So with that being said, my challenge to you, the viewer, whether you're sub or not, thank you if you are, thank you if you're not, again, my challenge to you as the viewer is to open your minds because Whenever I play Call of Duty or whatever, because of my name, Wolfboy Tech, um, and I'm thinking of renaming my Steam account to like Furry or whatever, I get brought up, it gets brought up that I am Furry, and that that's the reason that I suck at the game, and all of this, and that I need to just kill myself, and all that. Let me state that not all furries are the image that society has put in your minds um, and I'm not telling you this to um, convince you otherwise I'm telling you this so that you can um, learn to take each person as themselves um, I actually recorded this twice and the first time, I didn't like how, it, how I meant, how I described it. The second time, I had it all fine, and then uh, 
my video editor won't accept the footage because it's an FLV format, and it's accepted FLV format for day for years. Um, but the point is um, that each person that you meet can fit into categories: uh, business oriented, uh, otaku, um, weeaboo, uh, furry, brony. You can put them into as many categories as you want. Gamer, not gamer. Techie, not techie. You can put them in to different classifications. But the sum of all of their classifications, which some don't even know all their classifications when you tell them, oh, you're a weeaboo, um, the sum of those classifications is what makes a person not that class that you have a problem with because sure even though I'm a furry and I like anime I'm an otaku I consider myself an otaku because I've watched several different types of anime um, not just one type not just one series I've watched several series which and in both dubbed and subbed, which technically makes me an otaku. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, look at a person for who they are, not what categories they fall into. Because, if you look at that person because they're a furry, for example, because I'm a furry. If you look at a person because they're a furry, you're looking at them and saying, oh, well, the society has said that this is a bad thing to be. For whatever reason, society does not like furries existing. I don't know why. I have nothing... Like, I don't have any problem with you. I don't have any problem with any other furries that are watching. Um... But because 1% of the community has sex in fursuits, that's what everyone thinks that the world of furries does. That we just have sex in fursuits and it's just about sex. It's more about community. And honestly, we have a better understanding. And if you go to a cosplay place or an anime meeting, or even a Magic the Gathering meeting. You understand that yes, they're nerds. Yes, they're geeks. Again, categories. Um, but you understand that they have a sense of community. Of the ability to join together to fight against one cause or multiple causes that they all can fight together. But in a sense, if the world would open their minds, even if it's just one or two people at a time. The world would become a better place because we would all, we would all be able to open our minds to different subjects. Um, now, I'm not telling you to go out and start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but maybe understand um, why that person likes that game. Or even why a gamer plays their games. Why I play Minecraft. Why do I do that? It's because I like it. But on top of that, it makes me feel calm. It reminds me of a better time in my life. It reminds me of peace. It, um, it reminds me of something that I can do and still have a community. Because if you've been in the recent streams that I've been doing... They are very lively. So, open your mind a little bit at a time. I'm not saying go out and start, you know, hugging Muslims because you are down in the South and you hate Muslims. No. <laughs> That's going a little too far um, because that will really strain your, like, your brain. Um... And I'm not saying that you have a small brain. I'm saying that you have 
believed in that so long that it's not going to be easy to change. And I understand that, that it's not going to be easy to change every person in the world. But that's okay. Okay? That's okay. It's okay if you don't want to change. It's okay if I don't want to change. If I don't want to say, you know, uh, patriots are correct, they um, are totally right about America, I totally believe in them, I will sign up for the military tomorrow. I don't have to say that. But as long as I understand where they're coming from and I can say, I agree with the fact that you have a point, but I don't agree with your point, but as Voltaire said, I will fight to the death to protect your right to have a point. And the fact that everyone has a different point is what makes them them. So I guess uh, to end all this rant, um, open your mind a little bit every day and talk to a different person. If you hate blacks, go out, talk to someone, learn um, their culture, go to a city that's mainly black people. Now I'm not telling you to go like to downtown Detroit where it's like the gang. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you to, again, take it slow, meet a few people at a time, maybe go to Georgia, because it does have a large African-American population. Go to Georgia, meet a few black people, meet them, understand them, understand their culture, understand why they are misunderstood, and then take that away as you will. Whenever you meet a furry, honestly, talk down in the comments. Um, I have experience in being a furry, and being an otaku, and being a geek, a nerd. I have all of that. You are not alone in this world. And I can tell you that if you keep judging people because they fit into a class, instead of looking at all of the classes that they are combined and then judging that person for that person, you are going to end up being a bad person overall. Now, I'm not going to start reciting things from the Bible or any of that. I don't believe in doing that. But the point is that you guys need, and my community is actually really good at this, um, probably because some of them have found out that I am a furry, so they have went out and looked at that, or maybe even they were a furry themselves, or are a furry. But the fact is, if you open up your mind to accept more about each person, it'll make you a better person, and it'll make you see the world in a different light. So, that's my rant for 50 subscribers. Uh, you got to learn a little bit about me, and I challenge you to do um, something. Maybe even make a reply video to this. Because um, I know that most of my subscribers are actually YouTubers. So, if you watch my content, make a video. Comment it down below. I will gladly watch it, and maybe even uh, address points that you made in it. Um, obviously, I will not do a react to video, um, but in the case that there are some good points, I will pull it into my clip. Um, but if you want to see the video that I was really referring to stuff, I'm going to overlay it here at the end um, because this guy kept going on. And if he would have just simply said, you're a bad player, stop playing, I would have been okay with it. And I have something in my eye. Um, but I would have been okay with it. Like, honestly, but still, he kept saying, Oh, but you're a furry. You're this. It doesn't matter. I'm playing the game, albeit very badly. Um, but I'm playing the game because I want to. It was Call of Duty Black Ops 3, for those of you who are wondering. As you'll see in a little bit. Um, but... Again... My challenge to all of you, as you challenge me to get to 50 subs, my challenge to you is to open up your mind a little bit. A little bit every day. Maybe even meet someone and 
have them help you open up your mind. Any way is possible. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for 50. Like this video if you want to. Share it. All that good stuff. And subscribe if you want to uh, be notified when I go live and stuff. And also down below is um, social media and such. Because, uh, yeah. Um, if you're wondering what else to watch, um, I guess I'll post something up there if I remember how to use cards. Uh, because I keep saying I'll put stuff up there and then I don't. Um, yeah, because cards is kind of weird. You only have, like, five. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This video has went on way too long. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>